Well, welcome to my forensic studio. Testing, testing. Hey, everybody. Check this thing out. Okay, I'm just going to show you the rest of this for a few minutes. I'm going to put the magnify up to 8. I'm going to put it on auto contrast. This is my forensic tool. And I want to look at these rocks. Now, the reason I know they're rocks is because there's a tool on here I used to see if they were UFOs and identical UFOs, and they're not. Um, <clears throat> this craft right here I'm pointing to and I'm using that magnifier tool it's extremely cool it's a good tool now if you use the auto contrast by channel it will actually give you different colors for this craft this is like a saucer sideways turned sideways these are rocks okay now let me tell you why if I use this clone detector right it says no clones have been detected try lowering the similarity so I lower it if you see red lines you'll see which ones match those are probably UFOs it's a good little tool to have um, I reveal all this in memberships because I want you to join but uh, you'll get the names for all my products all all the all the tools I use I mean you'll get the names of them but as you can see, no, I don't see nothing. See the line? It's showing you two small UFOs. So let's check that out. Right here. So this one, right between those two planets. I can't magnify this, but with this tool I can. So right underneath it, there's a ship or something. That's a piece of rock right there. Let me show you again. I don't usually do, I don't usually show this a lot, but I'm going to show it this time. See, and as you can see, I'm look right under that rock. That's a little craft. And that craft is why I, it's identical by 0.10% similarity. So it could just be two rocks looking the same. Um, but for the most part, there's not a lot of clones. Let's just keep upping it. See, there's a few. So you got some UFOs surrounding that thing or some similar rocks. But I actually just think they're all different sized rocks and some of them are similar by 14% or 0.414%. Minimal detail. We up the detail. Maximum See, maximum detail. We're looking at these two items. So, then you get more chances of being a UFO. Anyways, that's in my thinking. That's how I look at it. I'm not a scientist with all this. If you go by auto detail, auto contrast will give you um, automatically will separate it from what it's around. So, that's a hard one. Um, look at the clone device. There's two small ones here, too, that are exactly the same. So I'm going to say the one out here that I was pointing to and the one out here are UFOs. Now, <clears throat> we definitely know this is a UFO, and there's only one kind of it. This looks like a UFO, right? See all these rocks? Let me show you another picture. Hang on. Now check this out, guys. Remember the snapshot of this whole array of stuff let's do it by contrast by channel so to add color if there is any okay so we have like this small object right here you see this look at that what in the world are we looking at this first time I looked at this look at all these little orbs out here there's all kinds of devices you don't see with your eye but this thing is definitely a alien. Now, MUFON has contacted me. Now, I'm not a real... I'm the kind of guy that talks about a lot of alien stuff. Um, but I've shown you Anunnaki on one of my videos, which is now in the membership library, I'm sorry to say, if you're not in there. Um, but a lot of that I can release. E uh, YouTube's starting to give me a little bit of slack here. 
to do this. I'm not getting a lot of hits yet, but now look at all this that's on around this right here. This round object. Is it a planet? Okay, and I'll show you this under uh, the filter and we'll do some work on that. Right up here you have a number of like metal looking objects. Now, if I go by contrast by channel, histograms a little bit different. And actually I'm not a scientist so I don't understand it completely. But you can see uh, look at that dude's wearing some sunglasses. I'm telling you. Now videos like this are going to go into memberships archive. Um, when they come out on your end some of the things I might just show for two days and then I'll put it away and give you a different version of it because I don't want to get slapped no fines you know and best traffic for this stuff is YouTube and Facebook Facebook's a ridiculous amount of traffic um, but it operates different so there's a lot of stuff out here guys and uh, I'm gonna wait to I can't wait to turn these lights I see a lot of faces I don't understand all the demonic faces and skulls you know it, it's ridiculous okay now let's go to cloning device right out the bat we got like looks like two UFOs right there what I like about this forensic tool is that it's accurate now I'm magnifying up to eight let's magnify less so we're looking for these UFOs actually it's right over here somewhere let me take the histogram, put on auto contrast, which would be like real time what you see. So I haven't done this. Look at that little one popped up. And if I change the similarity, I'm going to see more. But this looks like something hitting something. And there's like blue kachina or something there. But let's look at this area. Yeah, there's a craft right there, guys. So, you know. You're not afraid. There's a reason you're here, and there's a reason you're watching this. Now, Mufon asked me if I believe this stuff is real. Um, like, you know, not just like that, but what do I think about it? I think I'm finding stuff I don't understand. Look at that, guys. I don't know. You tell me. This thing's pretty accurate. Look at that. That's man-made right there, or alien-made, whatever. Fallen angels. So I don't I don't believe in aliens so much I believe in fallen angels watchers look at this I've been noticing this thing that's like a rock here the one over here these are asteroids these are rocks right there they're called you know that's like a Chevy truck right there all this other stuff is just debris now do is it space junk it might be space junk so I don't want to sound like a total idiot a lot of it could be space junk and then they're dealing with it but this right here, this edge right there, it looks like something hit this planet or let's say it was like right there, right? Let's say this is a ship. And it looks like some debris hit it and it lit up. That's my story on this. Now this object right there looks man-made man or alien-made or fallen angel-made. However you want to say it, it's, it's beyond my mind. Um... It's otherworldly. Look at that face. Looks like that looks like Spider-Man. So I don't know. Or is it is it spiritual? Is it in the spirit realm? I don't believe so. I think it's in the natural realm. Is it spirit realm driven, like demonically driven? Yeah, I actually believe that a lot of this is. There's your oh look at look guys TRB right TR3B. There you go with lights on each end. That's a cool picture. And I'm going to hold it there for a second because I'm going to take a snapshot of it. Okay. Got that. And I turned my camera shutter. Look at this thing. And, you know, I'm trying to make this short, but I think I'm having too much fun. So I'm going to go as long as I want. I like the faces. Now, that one looks like Zeus. Hey. Now, I'm a full-blown Holy Ghost, blood-washed Christian, guys. And I have no fear of this. I have no fear that God's allowing me to see it, find it, and show it. Now, I'm in, I'm in, a lot of this is going to be in private. I might cut some of this out. It's too revealing. And I understand they don't want mass hysteria. And um, I don't see my numbers really going up and nothing yet. I'm hoping they are. I'm hoping they open it up uh, so I can get people in the private community. And they want to watch us talk. They can't. 
So there. Anyways, that's my goal, is to create a private community, investigating, and I'm going to bring you stuff like this. I might do it for an hour and a half. I might do the rest of this for an hour and a half. See, that's, that's going to be the power of it. So, Okay, let me go to another picture. It's going to be like just mind twisting. Hang on. Okay, I'm back over here in my uh, editing studio. You guys, did you see the video this morning? You see that uh, <laughs> tic-tac-toe square? That is some kind of Borg stuff. Now, I don't know if that's what they call the Texas Cube coming down. And the colors, what happens when I use a filter, sometimes it will just increase the saturation. So the colors are actually there. They're just exaggerated. Um, there's definitely some UFOs in that thing, too. Let's get back to what we are talking about. I go ramble on any of this. This stuff is incredible, Phil. Phil's got some, I'm going to show you, Phil's got some incredible stuff right now. I'm going to tell you, it's hard to keep up with the mind-blowing pictures he's sending me. Um, this was a Maximize I, I use a thousand times. I don't own it. It's an Impixio product. I'd like to have it. Anybody want to donate it, I'll give you the price. And I'm serious. I would use that thing all the time. Let me just go to the, one of the pictures that are not. I was testing the Impixio product, actually. Um, okay, let me get to the pictures. I'm getting a little glitchy here. Okay, this one, this one right here, yeah, not real clear. It's clear enough. Um, I'm gonna show you this filter. This is not a maximizer. This is just your regular filter. I could bring it in and out. Um, let me close this. I got a short window on here because of the other page. Right here, you can see that ship right there. Come on, guys. Look at that thing. You see, these are rocks. Now, let me give you my, uh, I guess it would be my theory. Would they call that a theory in my hypothesis? not sure I'm not a scientist or very educated in those areas but I do know how to look at stuff now this is a spaceship for sure I think they would call that a cigar if you look at a different angle it's a saucer it's got objects underneath it um, right here we looked in this area that's a huge rock and there's a ship now my my theory on this my thoughts on this my opinion on this my presumption maybe of this is that this one I thought are we looking at a stargate and a ship coming through it now that's my sci-fi talking from watching TV for 60 years look at this orange thing and I looked at it close it looks like a ship right there and I think one of the cloning devices showed a ship there okay that looked like a ship too but my other thought is what if this is a device that the United States has created or Russia or somebody and it collects asteroids which is brilliant bravo great i sleep better but i don't think so um so you ever watch stargate what if this is a stargate that goes you know boom this is what it really looks like and this ship comes through that's my sci-fi now the real if the debris fields are as big as they say what if there are vehicles that elon musk created I put a force field around this, like a tractor beam. That's really good sci-fi. And it's dragging this thing away from the Earth. Now, does that make you happy? Yeah. So, or, you tell me. Because I ain't never seen anything like this. And I've looked at a lot of things beside the sun. I've never been able to have someone with a filter as clear as this. So, let's go back to the other side. And I'm going to show you one of these. Hang on. Okay, so now we're back over my uh, my forensic studio right here. I can't. It's actually better to bring this back. It brings more clarity to this tool. But right here, this orange object, not on fire, and it is orange. You see the little orbs around it. You know, you hear stuff about uh, they're using the, uh, 
technology to move asteroids away from our system well if there are alien UFOs out there which there are that are not maybe from our dimension or whatever they're moving this stuff around what if this is a blown up ship like the series called debris and stuff is falling and what if this is debris and they've actually just made a movie of it so there you go but this ship right here is mind blowing I'm on the auto contrast I'm going slow because I want you to observe you know and as crazy as it sounds um, if I didn't have this device I would look at this and go what in the world but I wouldn't be able to look at it this close this is about what you're looking at right now is about one twelve hundred percent more closer twelve hundred percent closer twelve hundred percent twelve hundred times closer you could actually see the hatches on this thing I did yesterday when I was looking at it. look at that really that that I believe is an orb or a nano orb or whatever maybe it's just a small orb maybe it's a big orb I don't know perspective I can't give you on this now if I had like the space station next to it that would be great because then you could say wow look how big it is so on the right there after I filtered it uh, you know I, I'm not sure if it was a lens from the Sun simulator okay but it gave a purple hue but we've been seeing a lot of purple skies so I'm gonna just assume it's the Sun simulator putting out here. purple hues we're picking up we got UFOs looking like they're moving stuff around let's go to the clone detector no clones have been detected. Try lowering the similarity. So let's see if we can just anything similar. There you go. We found something. Let's check out these two. Yeah. So you can't get it clear enough though. But we'll try something else. Um, let's go auto contrast by channel. Let's make sure we're on the right one. This one. And right here. This one. No, it doesn't make much difference. But because they're clones, I would say they look alike. Um, also, right in here, this red thing, you can really pick out those orbs. Is this a piece of a broken ship? Is it a disc? Look at that edge on it. It's very man-made looking. You know, very not natural. And is it being driven somewhere? Look at these rocks right here. Come on, that's like a pearl of rocks. That one's lit up a little bit. Five hours in the bank. This, and this one right here is definitely like the other one. It's amazing, huh? I've never, I, I would never thought of seeing stuff like this, ever. There's your clone device. These guys are the same. Let's go high similarity. See what we get. Um, high similarity, the minimal detail. We got something. There you go. Look at that, folks. So we got something over here by the Sun Simulator. That's, um, minimal similarity, but minimum detail. It could just be rocks that look like other rocks. Right? So let's look at the size of them. Let's go to a bigger size, larger rocks. Let's see if we could detect something on that. Nothing minimal clusters let's go a lot of clusters so as you do this you can see you can actually pick out and I'm only using a couple features today maximum image size let's go big uh, 2000 look at this oh my word you see that light up maximum image size Bye. let's go maximum block size and maximum cluster size. Let's see what we get. Sometimes it will throw you 15 things. So, you know, UFOs hunting is getting better for me. So, when you find a cluster of stuff beside the sun, send me your pictures and I'll put the uh, address. It's in, it's in the information down below by the join the membership button. Haha. <laughs> I had to say that because I want you guys to join the memberships and get unlimited pictures because. I'm, I'm actually holding back 
So let's go to magnifier, take a few more of these rocks out, and I'll go to another picture. This is about 20 minutes already, so this might be another video, and I'll show you part of it on the on the first video. This might even become a series. I don't know, Phil. Keep sending this stuff in. So Phil's one of my uh, free researchers that found me. He said, what do you think? And I said, let's put it under the lights. This is what you get right here. It's like Forrest Gump said, life's like a box of chocolates. Now, if you want to become a hunter for all this stuff and don't have time to hunt, let me hunt for you. Pay the $4.99. Take all the footage you want. I mean, if you were to go to, uh, I went to an Aurora artistic type place where you buy Auroras. And let me tell you how much they wanted for the Auroras. 12 seconds, use it one time, it was $750 2K. So, I'm offering you for $499 unlimited over 70,000 probably over 70,000 pieces of raw info now right here you might want to get rid of my voice take this video and tell everybody what you think it is because let me tell you something I'm not a scientist but I got eyeballs so do you so some of you are just starting your channels it's just a good deal I'm giving myself a little uh, upsell okay and don't be offended if I do that look what I'm showing you come on folks there ain't, I don't think there's anybody using this tool I got. Now, I'll tell you what, you buy the big package, I'll really make it sweet. Buy the big package, I'll give you this tool. I'll tell you exactly where to get it, how to get it, how to pay for it. And let's say you have the, f the big package for two months, and you're not, you're not happy, because 70,000 pictures are just not too many, right? Then guess what? I'll give you... You can just stop any time. I'm not going to give you a refund. I can't guarantee you a refund because, you know, YouTube's tied into it and they're not going to do that. So look at these little rocks. Are you getting it? Okay, I'm going to show you something on the filter. It's going to blow your mind. Hang on. Okay, we're back on the filtering side of things. Let me show you this. If I remember, I did a lot of work yesterday and I, I just totally crashed, but... If I contrast this thing, I want to show you what's inside this cluster. I've thought about this theory that these are rings and this is a giant asteroid in the middle of this thing. So let me just play around and you guys give me your opinion. Right, like right down here, you see this dark shape right here? Inside this ring right here? Yeah, and what if all this debris around it is just, you know, um pieces breaking off of it as they grab it and if they're using like maybe some kind of electronic you know electromagnetic device a tractor beam you know it sounds kind of like far-fetched but like look at that spaceship that's far-fetched to me hello I'm just a guy over here you know retired trying to mind my own business somehow I got caught into being able to see this stuff um, if you were to go to Gina Hill's site she shows stuff that's more weird than this Tell Gina Hill I sent you, so she'll send me some people over here. But she shows some really weird stuff, and it, you know, it just proves to me that this is more real than we know. Um, these little rocks, some of them are ships. Um, can't just can't say it better than that. I'm trying to think what else I could show you. We might do this for a little bit. Look at these little like like little windows or portals, right? And here's the bottom of the ship. You can see it's kind of round. Like if you, you know, it's like if you've seen a sci-fi movie and this thing was flipped over. I think I got a version of that flipped over. Hang on. Oh, look at this one. It's beautiful. So close. Look how close that one is. Wow. Now I can get rid of this blurry stuff. It's called noise. Let's reduce the noise. Reduce your noise and add clarity. There you go, folks. About as good as I can get it. Um, con contrast darkens it up, though. A little bit better. Okay, well, you get the gist, right? Exposure. 
light it up a little bit. Nah, take the light down. Anyways, that's a good shot right there. I can get a really good picture of that ring. And it seems like another ring and another ring. This th this is right here. Is it the width of this ring? It's not two rings. I think that's the width of that ring. And this is like alien looking to me. Otherworldly. Okay. Some of you guys are not even going to make it to the end of this video. But it doesn't matter to me no more. Because some of you actually are, you know, MUFON people that might catch this stuff. And I'm just telling you now. What if this whole thing. See this back here? The way I see this, this could be another, this, I flipped it around, I think. Yeah, I flipped it around on the right side. Because you see this band right here? It's kind of obfuscated, whatever. It's like a flat bottom. What if this thing is a huge ship? So it goes back. I don't know. You know, it's presumptuous, but, you know, you rocket scientist out there, send me an email, tell me what you see. These clusters of rocks right here, for some some strange reason, I do not think they are um, actually rocks or drones. They're more like drones because these things can fly around. Maybe the magnetic field in this thing, as I'm assuming, is just lining them up like that. So you know, like a bunch of marbles, a bunch of magnets, they line up and stick. So maybe this thing is just a tractor beam pulling rocks out of our atmosphere. Thank God. I hope so. But there's something else I found. I got an EMI picture. Oh, where is that? I do not know. I won't try to find it now. But anyways, I think I better like cut this one. I think I'll do more on this later. This is going to be like a 35-40 minute video. But you got to admit, this is amazing stuff right there. Look at that. You could just see the orbs. Yeah, I, I, it took so long to put this out. Because I can't stop looking at it to really see what it is. Because it's mind-boggling. For me. I mean, I'm not a scientist. You might have, like... You might even know what this is. You better email me, alright? It's kafitv18 at gmail.com C-A-F-I-T-V-18 at gmail.com And, uh... Let's collaborate, whatever this is. Talk to you later. Look down below, it says join. At least watch the video. You don't have to pay no money to watch the video. The video is seven minutes long. So, if you're one of my fans, I'm asking you for a favor. At least take a look at it. I'm not saying you have to pay it. You're going to see everything anyways. I'm going to show you guys everything everywhere. So, I have four channels, five channels, and they're all going to grow up. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye.